I write the songs that make the whole world Thank sing. you, sir. I write the songs of love and special things. I write the songs that make the young girls cry. I write the songs, I write the songs. I am music, me, sunny man. <laughs> and I write the songs. Thank you. <laughs> You'll never guess who's at my station. I'll give you a hint. He's on TV and he makes people feel better. Robert Young? No. <laughs> Reverend Worthington. <laughs> Isn't he the guy that preaches on uh, cable TV? Yeah. Isn't this restaurant a little expensive for a man who begs for money every night? <laughs> <laughs> well, I warned him, but he said, man does not live by bread alone. Every now and then you need a little prime rib. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. We just got carried away. <laughs> what would you like, Molly? Anything you want is okay with me, Herb. I can see that. <laughs> Bring us two sirloin steaks, medium rare, and a bottle of your best champagne. <laughs> Excuse me, honey. Table six wants you. Have you tried hosing them down? <laughs> That's all we're having this evening. I doubt it. <laughs> Ready to order? Why not? Go ahead, Catherine. You go first, John. Why? I won't get what I want. I'm very good about those things. I write them down. Okay. I'll have the fettuccine Alfredo. No, he won't. He'll have the broiled chicken. I told you. John, that fettuccine has enough cholesterol to turn your heart into a paperweight. Uh, should I come back later? Hey, I've lived through 30 years of marriage to you and two heart attacks. I'll live through the fettuccine. What happened to that nice, civilized dinner we were going to work out our separation over? You won't let me order it. If I might make a suggestion, how about the poached salmon with fresh vegetables? Yes. Very low in cholesterol. Uh, excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. I think my friend needs me. <laughs> Nancy wants to see us in the kitchen right away. Why? What's up? Well, she doesn't want us to upset the customers, but the building is on F-I-R-E. <laughs> Vicky, the customers can spell. Come on. Yes. Yeah, yes, Captain. C Captain, I understand, of course. Uh, no, there's no need to panic. Uh, no, I can handle things on this end. What? Oh. Oh, well, you sound like a strong person, too. <laughs> yes, we'll keep this as a direct line to the lobby. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, I'm sure Vicki has already told you that we have a, a slight fire in the building, but the fire department is evacuating the floors one by one. Naturally, being on top, we're the rotten egg. <laughs> but, um, all we have to do is make sure none of the customers leave until it's our turn to go. Well, what are we supposed to do? Steal their shoes? Stop. Serve slowly. And that should be easy for most of you. Nancy, is there uh, any danger of the fire coming up here? No. And yes. Look, I spoke to the captain, and he didn't seem to feel that there was any cause to be alarmed. Well, I wouldn't be alarmed either if I had a helmet and a hose. <laughs> Look, they're doing the best they can, and it's up to us to do ours. And it's up to you to make sure our customers get through this well. Gotta help them. Okay, everybody, you heard what Nancy said. It's up to us. So all we have to do is stay calm, right? Just look, come, act, come, be, come, come, come. That's all we have to do. Dot. You're babbling. I know. Maybe you should slap me. Later. It's been almost an hour. Any news yet? No, I keep stalling. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Finally. I'm sorry. I was sure you ordered the vegetarian plate. I thought you wrote all this down. I did. I just have very bad penmanship. <laughs> Excuse me, dear, but I ordered the poached fish. Right. Looks delicious, doesn't it? This fish is veal. Really? 
You're right. I thought that little bump was a fin. <laughs> this little bump is a drumstick. I've got chicken. Oh. No, no, no. I'll eat it. I, I'm sorry. Nonsense. Back in a flash with a fish. <laughs> After 30 years of our marriage, why should I think anything would go right tonight? If it was so awful, John, what good reason could you have had for staying with me? Revenge. <laughs> Yes, what's taking so long? Where's our dinner? Oh, um, our stove broke, so, uh, we have to use a hibachi. Well, Sonny's gonna take a little break now. Keep playing. There's a fire in the hotel below us. Okay, Sonny's back. <laughs> Cassie, Harold, play. Play anything that comes into your head. On top of a smoke. Is there a problem with the check? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, well, Reverend, you see, I just feel awful bringing a check to a man of the cloth. Well, don't think of me as a minister of God. Think of me as a man falling asleep in his fruit cup. Oh. Uh, but first, uh, may I ask you a question of a religious nature? Certainly. Could you explain the Bible to me? So far, so good. I think we can keep things under control until the fire department gets here. Yeah. you people are you nuts eating when there's a fire uh do you have a reservation there's a fire there's a fire in this building no, wait hold on everybody shame on you coming in here and panicking these people like that however there is a fire folks but it is several floors below and the fire department has everything under control now please just take your seats please now they're evacuating the building floor by floor and our turn will come no it won't they stopped evacuating the staircase is filled with smoke <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, pull yourself together. I'm in charge here, and I say don't do this. Oh, God, they're worse than Todd. Stop! Everybody stop! Look, you're scared. We're all scared. But fear is your best friend. I don't know why, but somebody told me that. Fear tells you to be careful, not stupid. So anybody who wants to be stupid, you run out into that stairwell and into the smoke. <laughs> Anyone who wants to be careful, come back into the restaurant, sit down, and wait for the fire department to call. Please, please, please. Thank you. Might as well have had the fettuccine. <laughs> Lois, you did good. That was very brave of you. Thank you, Janet. Uh, could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you peel my fingers off the microphone? <laughs> Miss, uh, come here, come here. Uh, I gotta level with you. Uh, this fire couldn't have happened at a worse time. You see, my company is merging with another company, very hush-hush. And if I'm not on a plane in another half hour, the whole thing could fall through. In other words, that's your girlfriend, and if you're not home by 9 o'clock, the wife's gonna kill you. You got it. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Listen, Romeo, there's no safe way out. Would you rather be caught cheating or dead? Death comes once. Alimony is forever. <laughs> Do you think this is on the news? Oh, I hope not. Bill and the kids will be worried sick. I wonder what's worse, being out there worrying or being in here? Being in here? I gotta call home. Jan, honey, the lounge phone is out. The only phone that works is the direct line to the lobby. Yeah, but you heard me on the phone to Ellen before. I sounded like an old grouch, didn't I? No, you didn't sound like a grouch. You sounded like a mother. Sometimes they sound alike. <laughs> Captain, I'm trying to hold things together here and... What? Oh. Well, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> What's yours? Who cares about signs? When do they come in the guests? Look, I can't very well talk to two people at once. Don't be so pushy. Oh, did I get pushy? Oh, I'm sorry. It was only my will to live. <laughs> Uh, look, how long do you think it will be before they can clear the smoke from the stairwell, Captain? Uh, all right, Brett. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, well, thank you, Brett. I, I'm looking forward to meeting you, too. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, how long is it going to be before they clear it? They can't. They can't? Well, what are they going to do? They don't know. They don't know? Well, I hope you and Brett didn't make any long-range plans. 
Then my husband and I just grew apart. Yeah, it can happen when you marry young. You develop different interests, right? No, he started fooling around. <laughs> and you with a baby girl. We did okay. She's no baby anymore. She's a happy little ten-year-old whose mommy's gonna be a toasted marshmallow. <laughs> you know, with all of his faults, John never fooled around. Well, I had to save my energy for fighting with you. <laughs> Miss, I'm leaving. There's gotta be a way out of here. Herb, take it easy. I've never seen you like this. We don't attend fires very often. I got a, I got a wife and kid to think about. A kid? You never told me about a kid. Oh, I didn't? I must have mentioned the kid. Look, in a little while, they'll come up with something and we'll all get out. Relax, it's a piece of cake. No, it isn't. It's a fire. This is a piece of cake. See that? That huh? doesn't burn. Fire burns. Cake does not burn. It could be worse. It could be his wife. <laughs> Sonny, I have to use the mic. Yeah, wait. I was just gonna sing some of my own songs. Haven't these people suffered enough? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Thank you. The Reverend Worthington has generously agreed to speak some words of comfort for us. Thank you, my child. Friends, in this time of doubt, let us not forget the word of the Lord. For he has said... You shall burn for your sins! Reverend, this isn't what I have in mind. Yes, and how many of you made peace with your maker this morning? And do you think that your last minute words of repentance are enough for a lifetime of sin? Maybe we could all sing a hymn. And what about those you leave behind? How many of you have sinned against your loved ones today? Hurt your wife today? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> child today. I gotta go call Ellen. Forgiveness can be yours by sending one dollar to the Lord. Care of me, Fontana, California, 92335. Jan, Jan, there's no way that you can reach her. I've got to. I want my daughter to know I love her. I think she's probably picked that up in the last 10 years. Well, what if I never see her again? The last thing that I said to her on the phone was that she couldn't go out of the house until I told her she could. Well, she'll probably catch on in 10 or 15 years and go out for a Coke. <laughs> Lois, how can you joke? Well, it beats breaking down and crying, which is what I am about to do. I wish you hadn't said that. Hi, Brad. Oh, my God. That's wonderful. They're getting us out from the roof by helicopter. Oh, thank God. What? Oh, well, I'll be wearing my, my sequin burgundy. <laughs> yes, that's right. Bye. And the Lord appeared to me one night as if in a revelation. And he, he spoke one word to me. And that word was television. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies, thank you, Reverend. Ladies and gentlemen, I have good news. The fire department is flying in a helicopter, and we will be evacuated from the world. <laughs> only seats for. Therefore, I suggest that we draw coat check numbers to determine the order of our departure. Uh, How will people get their coats back? Vicky, sit down. <laughs> numbers one through four will be taken to the roof immediately. Uh, now, would you form an orderly line here at the piano? Uh, employees will leave last. Okay, I quit. <laughs> Sonny, Sonny, we'll all get out of this eventually. Well, if we're all gonna get out of this eventually, why can't I go first? Sonny, sit. Four. Oh. Thirty-eight. See you Tuesday. I don't think so, Herb. Why don't you just stay home with your wife and kid? Forty-three. 
too. Well, I guess our breaking up changed your luck. <laughs> I'll trade number two for number 44. That's me. I may not want to live with you, but I don't want to die without you. You'd probably haunt me. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Lord, we've worked together a lot of years. We've been partners, right? Please. Thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> taking so long this time. The other trips only took about 10 minutes. Uh, I'll go check. Boy, you know, I'm very proud of us. We got everybody out calmly. We're not out. <laughs> well, we're next. So, Mario, should we draw numbers or what? Well, you and Jan will go first because you've got kids, and the rest of you ladies will draw lots. Ah, uh, let them go first. That's okay. I'll wait. What about me? <laughs> you and I are in the last group, Sonny. Women first. Sure. Where's the ERA when you need it? <laughs> Was anyone else scared that uh, maybe, you know, he might check out? Not me. I always figured I'd die in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if it did happen, I, I knew we'd all be back. I really believe in reincarnation. I believe that life cannot be created or destroyed, only screwed up. <laughs> well, well, I just kept wishing I could see Bill and the kids one more time, you know? I was worried, but I knew it didn't matter because I was raised to believe that the life we live on this earth is not the real life. Not the way you live it, it isn't. <laughs> oh, any news? Well, they're having a little trouble with the helicopter. What's wrong? Well, the winds are so strong, it seems they banged into the building the last time they landed. But they only lost that little propeller in back. The stabilizer? Is that important? For flying, yes. Without it, it's a $40,000 Cuisinart. Well, this is crazy. I mean, first it's okay, then it isn't okay. I want to know exactly what is going to happen to me. Am I going to die or am I not going now, to die? Lois. These buildings are supposed to have precautions, Nancy. They're supposed to have sprinkler systems and things of that nature. They do. Now, Brett says this building is safer than any other. If it weren't for this system, we would have been gone already. Now, they're doing the best they can. Really. Okay. okay. Thanks, I needed that. You want to lie down? <laughs> okay, so it's getting a little tight. So what? We're going to get out of here. Say, go on. Play something cheerful. I play cheerful. Liberace plays cheerful. Move it. Go on. Play something we can all sing. Something to help us pass the time. Something like, uh, You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy with skies and rain. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. And I hung my head and cried. Are you on my soldier? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. We put the fire out and the stairways are cleared, so you're free to go if you want to. Oh. <laughs> 